just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave her the time of day You told her that you would stay You made me feel the same way What goes around comes around, that's what I always say what up though what's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handful scorpios out there hope everyone in my scorpio collective is doing well all right y'all i made it through i said i was gonna do y'all seven little readings today for my birthday you know what i'm saying even though it's my birthday i want to be i want this to be my gift to you guys and get y'all this ring you know i appreciate y'all a lot of y'all been rocking with me for a long time you know you always come in you always send me good energy you know and I just love it, you know, and I love you. And I just want to do something special for y'all. So this is my gift to you guys for being with me on this journey as we learn and grow together and make it do what it do, okay? So just thank you for embracing me and allowing me to be me. When I cry, when I sing, when I do whatever, you know, you just allow me to do me. And that means a lot, you know? So anyway, this is my last reading. We're going to toast it up, y'all. This is last month. This night, y'all know I'm free recording and whatnot. So y'all have a little toast with me. And we're going to get into this last one. Remember, if you're interested in a love reading, those are on sale for $30, okay? And just email me if you're interested in anything else in the love reading. Just email me, you know what I'm saying? I'll send you my list or whatnot and let you know what I got available. So let's get into it. So we have someone here that's doing some healing. But the most significant thing about what this person is healing right now, Scorpio, is they're healing their inner child. So this is someone that's coming to terms to understand that, okay, maybe some trauma, maybe an experience or something that happened in my childhood has really fucked me up in my adulthood. And this is someone that's taking time to self-reflect, like they're placing a mirror to themselves and they're allowing that little child inside of them to be able to be healed and be happy again so they can be happy here, okay? Because this is someone who really suffered from depression. Like this, I feel like they, to the outside world, you know, people may never know this about them because they hide it. They mask it very well, but this could be someone that's suffering from depression, okay? Maybe because of something that happened in their childhood, or this could be someone that's suffering from depression because they know they fucked up, all right? This gives me an energy of someone that possibly made a decision that now they're, like, regretting right now. Because you look at this person, like, they got their hand over their head, like, oh, my God, why the fuck did I do that? You know, this is the, this is the energy I'm getting from this car. So it's like now they're knowing. Even back then, they could have known, but it's like this person can't deny this fuck up right now, okay? Why? Because they're dealing with a bugaboo. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that won't leave them alone. Like, they could be trying to get rid of this person. You know, this person refuses to go. They're like, oh, I ain't going nowhere. What you mean it's over? It ain't over till I say it's over. That's one of them type of energies, okay? So someone here dealing with a bugaboo. And it's somebody that they can just not seem to get over, okay? But see, the thing is, you and this person, y'all share this love story, okay? You know, once upon a time, when you hear those, like, like it's a fairy tale. Like, when it comes to how you and this person connected and what happened on your journey and how you guys are about to come into reunion, you're like, man, people ain't going to believe it. They're like, man, Scorpio, you lying. Stop playing. Y'all didn't go through all this. You didn't have to experience all that. you be like, yes, the fuck I did. This is exactly what happened here. So for some of y'all, this is like a, a love story, you know, but this is like a fairy tale, like one of those love stories, like Beauty and the Beast and the Princess and the Frog or Cinderella or, you know, some shit like that. Like that's the type of love story that you and this person are going to be sharing with people in the, in the future. Okay. Now, right now, this person could be very nostalgic, you know, so maybe they're thinking about the past and a lot of memories that y'all shared and some things that y'all made a deal, you know, some little freaky things y'all made a deal. But it's like, as they sit and reminisce and they think about, because I feel like for some of you guys, they're comparing you. Is this another face? Okay, nah, them clouds. Ooh, y'all look at this. It's like another face in that cloud. They're not look like a face or something. And maybe I'm tripping. I may be high. I don't know. But you know, they can be comparing you to somebody else. And it's like, when they compare how this connection went between you and them, and they ain't thinking about how this situation went over here. They like, ah, oh, man, this is why this person, like, they they know they fucked up. But it's like, it's nothing that they hate about you. This person cannot name one thing that they hate about you, Scorpio. Not one thing. Now, when it comes to somebody else, they probably can name 55 things they hate. 
But when it comes to you, Scorpio, they can't hate. They can't name nothing. So this could be someone now that's ready to take some type of action, okay? Now they got the courage. They got the strength. They want a new beginning with you, okay? And Jupiter could be causing this person to take action. Y'all know what is Jupiter is in what? What the fuck is Jupiter in right now? Jupiter is in Taurus. I just said that another reason. I believe, I want to say it come out of retrograde. It's January. I want to say January of next year is when it's going to come out. So for some of you, look for something to happen. Because y'all know that's when retrograde and all that shit is over with. I'm telling you, once, once all these 13,000 planets come out of retrograde and shit start being stationary and going direct, that's when a lot of change you guys are coming. That's why we're hearing this shit ahead of time. A lot of these readings, hey, some of them be shit that's going on now. Some of these be like, you know, future predictions. I don't know. I just be reading the cards. But I feel like especially with the money and shit, like if y'all ain't receiving now, baby, it's coming. I feel like the longer you wait, that means it's going to be the bigger, the sweeter the juice, okay? This person, I feel like Jupiter is going to cause this person to want to take some type of action. It's going to make them take action, baby, with this, this fire lit. For some of y'all, they may have to come look for your ass, okay? They're going to be looking for you in the daytime with a flashlight, you know, but they're going to have the courage. They don't give a damn. They're going to have the courage and strength to do it because this is what they want. They want this reunion. Y'all already done been with this person, okay? Y'all see these waves, baby? It's all type of feelings and emotions between you and them, and you have this soul tie. You and that soul are connected, and a lot of you guys, it's your twin I'm talking about. This could be an air sign. This could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius here, okay? And with that ace, they, they, they want to have that new beginning. Now, they can be scared of brain, because it's like the... the, the um, the Ace of Swords, you know, that mental clarity. So it's like their thoughts and shit may be scattered. You know, they may be disconnected from their thoughts because they're trying to figure this out. For some of y'all, they could be married. Like she got a ring on her thing. I ain't never noticed it. For some of y'all, they're trying to figure this out because they already married. So when they mind, they're like, how the hell I'm going to leave this man? And then go over here and try to find Scorpio, but shit, they're going to do it because that's what they want here, okay? So let's pull a few. From my divine masculine oracle here and let's see what's going on here because we do have a masculine like i said it, you know when, when you talk about twins you guys look at this i split the dick let me get this out because this came too fast when you talk about twins when i talk about the divine feminine that doesn't just mean it's a woman you know that can be a male or a female my homeboy was a divine film you know what i'm saying some of you guys some of you masculines i talk to y'all are divine films and your masculine is a male you know that's just the energy that they're in so this person want to let you know, Scorpio, I hope you know that this situation between me and you, baby, is not over with yet, okay? And they hope that you are not looking for their replacement. Oh, look at this, y'all. These cards are crazy. Remember I just said this woman like she had a ring on her finger? Look what the next card is. Thinking about filing for a divorce. Come on through, man. Come on through, spirit. Y'all know I love it. Y'all know I work hard tonight, didn't I? This person realized, baby, for some of y'all, no one would ever satisfy them sexually. Like you did, okay? This is the only thing I can say about my twin. <laughs> you know? Oh, for some of y'all, they at home with this person, but they wish they was at home with you. Look at this. I, ha I have to come up with a sneaky plan to get away from this karma. Like, all I did was split the deck, and I'm going to read these next few cards. For some of y'all, this person has laid at night in their bed, sitting up, crying over you. Look at this. Because they know they fucked up. If they didn't know then, baby, they know now that they fucked up when they met, chose this other person, they chose this karmic over you, okay? For some of y'all, you met this person when they were at the lowest point of their life. For some of y'all, they had already experienced a lot, a lot of shit dealing with this karmic, you know? And they still were sitting up there trying. They're realizing, baby, nobody will ever compare to you. They've never met anybody else in their life like you, Scorpio. But they can be having a hard time healing from past hurt and pain. Man, what did I just say? For some of y'all, when you met them, they were already at the lowest part of their life, you know? They could have went back. They could have been separated from a karma, decided to go back, and then she did some more fucked up shit. You know what I'm saying? She did some more damage. So it's like they got to heal from that. Then they got to heal from the last time and the time for the... Like, they have a lot to heal from. All right? For some of y'all, this has to do with whatever happened in their childhood. But they're healing because this is the first card that came out. So whoever this person is, they are healing here, okay? This person is mad that you walked away. 
Cause some of y'all, you don't walk away, you ain't a little bit. Just like they read that did. You walked away like they meant nothing. You say, man, fuck that. I'm not finna keep dealing with you and going through the same cycle over and over again. I ain't I can't keep putting myself out there to know that you can't really give me what I want and what I deserve. So why am I gonna keep doing it? Look at this, you the best sex I ever had, and you have no idea how bad I want you. And for some of y'all, they've been praying to God. That they got that God get like this person is praying, y'all, praying to God. That God give them one more chance to make it right. Because why Scorpio, they know they fucked up. Whoever this person is, Scorpio, they know they fucked up. They know they fucked up with you. Like big time. Okay? And you have no idea how bad this person missed you. Now, for some of y'all, they knew they messed up, <laughs> but they blamed you. And they took their time coming back towards you, Scorpio, but they thought that you would always wait for them because in the past, you always was there. You know what I'm saying? You you never was in this energy before where you just walked away and wanted to stay away. No. You usually, if you walked away and stopped dealing with them, y'all would come back together at some point in time. But they took their time because they thought you was going to wait. They knew you loved them. They knew you wanted them. But they thought you was going to wait for them. Hmm. You might have been willing to do that in the past, but shit, how long you think, how many years you think I'm going to wait, bro? Okay? <laughs> Look at this. Within five years for some of y'all. All right, so let's pull up on the answer and time right quick. Let's see when some may jump between you and this person. Remember, if you're interested in a personal, my love readings are on sale for $30. All right? If anything resonated with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, Holy Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know? Let's pull up a... Okay, the holidays, so some of you guys could be significant here. All right, so something can happen significant. We do got Thanksgiving. We got Christmas coming up, okay? So the holidays can be significant for this connection. Let's get one more. Ooh, look at this. For some of y'all, and this card flipped over. For some of y'all, someone can make a move. Someone can get ready to take action now, baby. Okay, they will reach out, possibly communicate. And this could happen within the next few weeks. So for some of you, somebody could be making a move. Okay, this could be your twin. This could be somebody from your past. But somebody about to make a move, baby. So let's see who it is. All right, so let's see who this reading is about for Scorpio. All right, we got Heavy Aries, Gemini, another Scorpio. Cancer, Libra, Aries. Virgo, so heavy Aries energy. <clears throat> heavy Libra, Leo, and Scorpio. All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.